This week I thought I'd show you how to make some strawberries for your dollhouse, so whether you're making a fruit stand like I am, or you just need a few strawberries for a bowl on the counter for your dollhouse. Stick around and I'll show you just how easy they are to make. Alright, just like any other item we're going to make, it's always a good idea to have some on hand. And got some strawberries here and you can see they're, they're, these are pretty decent sized. They're, so they're not too horribly small, not like our cherries were. They're a little wilted. I saved these out of the strawberries a couple of days ago so they wouldn't get eaten. Um, but they're a nice red color. So I, that's the first thing I look at. I look at shape, I look at color, I look at size. Now I put these off to the side and I start looking at what clays I have. So I went through all the clays I have and I found that for the main strawberries just some female classic in the carmine red was a good color and the strawberries themselves are pretty easy to make they um, take very few tools first thing we need to do is we need to make a snake and this is just clay straight out of the package nothing special nothing done to it and we're gonna make a snake now we want these my strawberries measured anywhere from under an inch to two inches or a little bigger so that gives us a ballpark to aim for and that also means we can make them all sizes in miniature so I'm just cutting off some little pieces that look to me to be about 112 scale size strawberry sizes. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to make balls. And usually what I do when I do this is I do I would cut that whole strip up and then I would go through and I would do this step to all of them. It's just easier this way because then I don't have to pick up everything and put it down. So when I get that done I have a toothbrush. I bought this at Dollar Tree to use with clay and I have my dental pick that I also bought at Dollar Tree. And I've taken that ball and I'm kind of making the, po the end kind of pointed but the other end I'm leaving round. Poke my dental pick into it. Now it's on a handle. Now I take it and I just poke it onto these nice stiff bristles. Now if you can get a firm toothbrush it'll work better. The day I went to Dollar Tree they didn't have any firm ones. And then I just knock it off onto my paper plate and I'm ready to go. So let's do it again. Make, make a strawberry shape. And you notice some strawberries are more round than others, some are more square. It depends on the variety of strawberry. But they all have that little they all have the little seeds on the outside so they have that texture and that's what we're doing with the toothbrush we're just poking it in and making a texture just like a real strawberry poke it in if you go through the bottom that's okay just kind of work the clay around again. And you can kind of make it rounded again when you're poking it on the toothbrush too. It's okay if you have a hole that goes all the way through. It's okay if it's a little flat. Some strawberries are a little flat. Poke it down. All right. So I'll continue making these, but in the meantime, let me show you how we make some unripe strawberries. Because we all know, we get strawberries a lot of times. There's a couple in the container that aren't quite ripe. Well, those are fun to make in miniature too. This is a mixture of almost all translucent clay, and then. Put it in my golden yellow. Ah, 
There it is. My work table's a mess. In this whole batch here, there's probably about this much, if that, of golden yellow. Just enough to make this look really, really pale yellow before it's baked. And we're going to cut that just like we did the others. And we don't need a lot of these because there's never a whole lot of, of unripe strawberries, just a few. And then we need some red chalk. And this is just plain red chalk. I got the red, most red color I had and something to put it on with. And once again, and again, I would do the whole batch and then I would come back, make balls out of all of them, and then I'd come back. But do that. And then we brush it with the red chalk. And when this bakes off, it's going to look like an unripe strawberry. Let's see if I can get... Oops. Always go the wrong way first. Is that going to focus? Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's do this. Roll the ball. Squeeze it and make a little teardrop shape. It's almost like a teardrop shape, I guess you would describe it. Poke it on there. Poke it on there. And then... It's a good idea to have some wet wipes available when you're working with chalk. And that's all you do. So this step is done. I'm going to do the rest of this. I have one more step I'm going to show you now, though. I have a box. And this is, let's back up again so we can see what we're doing. This is the same kind of box I used for the cherries and for the smaller peppers. And this is what I will be putting these into. But I don't want to sit here and make enough strawberries to fill this all the way up. So, what I will do is take just a little bit of TLS. Doesn't take much. Let's put a little bit of TLS in the bottom of that box. That way, we can take some of our clay. Let's take this. And we're going to push it in here. And I'm going to need more. And I will fill the whole bottom of this box. And then when I bake off my strawberries, the strawberries will be baked twice. They'll be baked in this, this way, and then I'll put the tops on. I'll be back and put the tops on for you. We'll put some clay down in here, but I try not to make this even. I try to make this pretty bumpy. I did the same thing when I did the cherries. Because we aren't going to see all the way to the bottom. We'll be covering this up with, with strawberries. And this way I don't have to make quite so many strawberries. Alright, so there's our cheated bottom. Now, I will finish making some more strawberries. I'll get, and I'm going to bake all of this at 230 degrees in about five minutes. And when those are baked, everything's baked and cooled, I'll be back and show you how to do the tops. Right, well, here's our baked off little strawberries. And what I decided to do in the box this time is I just took a bunch of balls of the same color clay and just put them in on top of that bed. I'm hoping that I can make a lot less strawberries this way. We'll see if that works. Now, we need to put stems on our strawberries. So, we need green. And 
strawberry tops are just kind of leafy. I'm not going to make, they're just going to be kind of an impression that we've got a top on them. They're not going to look like a real strawberry top necessarily. So what I do, first I get all my strawberries here and hopefully won't have all of them roll away on the floor. All right, now this is just leaf green female, just straight out of the package, leaf green. And we are going to make a fairly skinny snake of this. And just remember for breaks, we're going to cut it into little tiny pieces, but I want to get a little thinner than that. All right, now we take a strawberry and we find the little the little top where we poked the pick into it we left a little hole now we take our dental pick and we get a little piece of that green and we just kinda kinda wipe it in there and that's all we're doing for the tops on these when they are all done and in the box or in a bowl or laying on the counter in your dollhouse wherever you want to have your strawberries. I mean you could do you could put these anywhere. Now it's not going to stick as well as if we were going raw clay to raw clay but it should stick well enough that we don't need liquid female or any TLS or anything. And by pushing in our little gob of clay and kind of using the end of our tool, we kind of give the impression that we've got little leafy bits. And sometimes it even looks like there's a stem on it when you look at it from a distance. So, And it's going to try and fall off. That's okay. We're just You just got to convince it. You just got to push it down with the pick and convince it. Now here's one of those not right not quite ripe strawberries you see it really does look like a not quite ripe strawberry okay well I'm going to finish up the rest of these and bake them off and then I'll show you the comp what they look like when they're all baked off is baked off now. Here's the strawberries I just did and here's some I did earlier today. So hopefully I have enough that I can cover the top of this. So let's um, begin the process of covering. So what I've done, I've got some TLS here. And I like to work with my TLS on a dark tile. I've talked about this before. For one thing, when it's on a dark green tile, I don't accidentally set something on it. If I put TLS on my regular white work tile, it kind of blends in and I don't really notice it and I tend to lay things in it and make a mess. This is a small tile. I can pick it up and put it off to the side. The TLS will stay nice on here for a long time. And when I'm done, I'll just bake this off for three to five minutes and then peel the what's left on the tile off and I've got a clean tile. So I've got my tweezers. I'm going to take some of the bigger strawberries first that are a little too big to be in scale. Dip them in the TLS and put them in. I'll work around here. I've got I made a few as I was trying to get my scale right. I made a few that were a little too big, so I'll put them in and then hopefully I'll have some to put on top of those. And this is a kind of a slow process but I think it's really worth it. Because you can individually place your strawberries this way and put them in an angle that best suits each strawberry because each one has better sides and, and a side that's not so nice usually and this one almost looks like a pepper. It's so huge so that I can kind of cover it. what I do is I'll do this and then I'll look at it and see do I have enough. I may have to make a few more strawberries. I'm hoping not to. I'm hoping when this is all done 
I will have enough in there and I won't have to make any more because I'm ready to move on to something else. Now, where else could you put these strawberries? You could put them on a in a bowl. You could just lay a few on a plate. You could just have these loose and have them laying someplace on your dollhouse counter or on a or wherever. Strawberries go so many places. Um, maybe someday I'll show you how to make chocolate dipped ones too. Those are fun. Well, I think I will turn the camera off and finish placing all of these strawberries one by one. And when I get all of these placed, I'll be right back. All right, so I have all of them in, and I'm just going to stick this back in the oven and bake it off. And uh, I think it's going to look good. I think I've got just enough. You can still see a few of the little balls of clay I left in there, but they're disguised enough that it's fine. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, this tutorial, and we'll come back next week and see what I've got for you then. Talk to you later. Bye.